launching four new products here at the show. Um, the first of which is actually called the Eco ALC. The Eco, in fact, is the next generation in liquid cooling from Cool It. All the cooling power with none of the price. So you'll notice that it's a very simple, low profile, integrated pump and cold plate module that goes down onto the CPU. It allows us to go over to a, a ground up design for the radiator, which is a low profile, fairly broad fin pitch so that we have very little airflow resistance and an ability to have good convection with the fan running really nice and slow, dead quiet, but with the flexibility still that the fan that comes with the product, it's actually a four pin uh, PWM fan that allows you to plug in the motherboard and then the motherboard can regulate the fan for you. So you've got premium liquid loop solution, and a reduction in price actually from our landmark product, the Domino, from last year. The, um, the price in, in North America will be targeted MSRP at $74.99. Something that has always plagued CPU cooling in, uh, in the industry is actually the progression of one socket to the next. So with Intel's um, recent active sockets, we're actually up to three that are still shipping all the time. We have 775, 1366, and now 1156 with the i5. So what we wanted to do is create an easy solution that would be simple to work with and actually just a, a very big time saver that I can go very quickly from a 1366. This is actually a spring-loaded click lock mechanism that I can go, like I said, from 1366 to 775, one, two, three, four, and I'm done. The uh, retainer mechanism is on both the Eco and the next product I'm going to show you called the Vantage ALC. Okay, so we're showcasing the Vantage. This is actually a step up from both the Eco and the Domino that we've had in the past because we've got now a full graphical LCD down on the CPU module. The pump is, again, integrated into the, uh, uh, into the unit that is uh, mounted on the CPU. This is actually a version on the AMD. Um, so you can actually see the AMD flavor of the retainer over here. There's no click and lock mechanism required, obviously, because the M2A and 3 has the same bolt pattern, which is nice and convenient. Um, the, uh, both AMD and Intel kits and all three Intel backplates come in the box with both the Eco or the Vantage. The Vantage's capabilities with the LCD actually are usually a little bit more than people expect. Built inside the Vantage is in fact actually a wireless communication module. There's an ability for this, there's no wire going from the fan control over here to the Vantage. It's actually communicating wirelessly over 2.4 gigahertz on an 802.15 um, standard. <laughs> I'm going to remember that by the end of the show. Um, so the, uh, the fun thing with this is actually through the menu structure and the buttons, you can go through and choose different fan profiles, you can choose custom profiles. This is actually a full RGB backlight on the LCD. You can choose your own color if you want. Um, and it's expandable. So if you were to go buy the Maestro software kit, which is a product I'll show you next, you can then actually plug in a USB dongle and then activate software control, upload your own image on here if you like, um, or modulate to different fan curves or even associate the, the speed of the fan to different zones. It doesn't necessarily just have to be coolant, it could be a separate temperature sensor and you can add in things like RGB lighting um, for the rest of your chassis and I'll show you the rest of that kit here shortly. So the Omni ALC is a universal liquid cooling block for VGA. This is actually the, the Omni 240 and we've got a 240 millimeter radiator up top, a pump housing and mount, a uh, control node that has that wireless communication. In fact, since I have a Vantage and an Omni, I can program it so that the Omni fans are shown on the LCD as well. So I have one display that allows me to control the entire group. The way we think of it is that once you buy an Omni system, it's a part of your chassis. Because the, the difficulty with liquid cooling graphics has always been the next graphics card is always just around the corner. And if you go buy a machine block, it'll cost you over $100 to begin with, then you've got to go plumb it in. It's a massive hassle and a time sink. And oftentimes you can damage your graphics cards if you're not careful. So 
what we wanted to do is make sure that we had something that had full coverage on the water block for the for the graphics card, not just um, the GPU, not just the RAM, but also the VRs. They're all important. Oftentimes, it's the VRs that are actually the failing point for a, uh, a dedicated cooling system. There are a number of, of companies out there that have promoted universal blocks just for the GPU, but we don't feel that that's enough. We also have the NVIDIA um, GTX 295B, um, which is the single PCB, and um, we're extremely pleased with the performance that we've been able to get out of this um, with the, um, the Omni Universal having micro channels built in and a proprietary manifold structure inside. We maintain really good heat exchanging without having a tremendous flow impedance. Um, so we've uh, been just super pleased with, with how that's turned out for us. Here is actually the Maestro package. So the, the Maestro package, I've, I've talked a little bit about software control and, and um, a, uh, a, a wireless capability. This is the um, wireless dongle um, that you just stick into USB to enable software control. This is the controller node, which has one, two, three fan headers built into it, a temperature sensor header, and RGB lighting. So what comes in the Maestro kit is three RGB lighting strips, and what we've done in the software is enable something called zone control. So when you first plug in all the equipment and the software, then it's going to say, okay, let's set up the zones. Which temperature would you like to have in zone one? And you can choose either CPU temperature or your sensor temperature, your second sensor temperature, the coolant temperature that's inside one of our pumps. All of those things are available to you to then base fan speeds or light color on that zone. So if you, for example, said, okay, I want this to be my temperature zone one in the red side, and I want the, uh, the lighting to actually pulse blue in zone one. I could then go over to zone two and say, okay, I want zone two to have the lights pulse green, or I want the lights to actually change color when the temperature changes. So the lights can actually be dynamically controlled and add a, a whole new dimension to the professional look and feel of a custom mod from an enthusiast. In the past, it's always been the domain of Alien Effects or, or Dell or um, Asus or you know these high-end OEMs that have the resources and capabilities to design their own PCBs and various different technologies. But even that has wire management all over the place. What we've done is taken it that next step, which makes it super easy to integrate. You put this wherever you've got a handy power header, and then your fans are located nearby. And then you just plug this in, and all of a sudden it's talking, and you can control it.